I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it is. This was not covered by my training manuals. Nothing's ever simple, is it? I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. It would have been quicker to just kill them. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. I believe we have found the signal's endpoint. It should be possible to identify the account to which credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Don't try it. Let's not start a fight. Why not? Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. That makes you a criminal. I can kill criminals. You're bluffing. You're right. They're actually going to let me eat you. He ain't paying me enough to take on specters or alliance troops or whatever. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. What do you want? What's that you're drinking? Human blood with cinnamon. Find someone else to bother. Must be hard for you, Garrus. Knowing that the person behind all this death and destruction is a Turian specter. Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Glad to hear it. I was losing sleep over the prospect of people not loving the Turians. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. Only an idiot hopes for combat while flying in a stealth ship. So tell me, who'd win in a fight between you and Shepard? What? Commander Shepard is my superior officer. I can't imagine us ever having to fight. You can't? That's why Shepard's your superior officer. And that's why Shepard would win. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Because it's a big, stupid jellyfish. Commander, is this some kind of game? Are you calling in a report just so you can cut us off again? You know it. That never gets old, does it? You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. He's not a zombie, is he? The Gath are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. 
An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. I don't get how a clothed female can be more attractive than a naked one. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. If these executives don't blame Analeas for provoking this, they're fools. You should eat them. Is there an Asari here? There is an Asari I cannot identify standing next to you. How you tolerate literal-minded VIs is beyond me. I need information on the Neutron Purge. The Neutron Purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. Nah, just a pleasant afternoon in the sun for a Krogan. The Purge is lethal to all known forms of... Shut up. Last thing I need is some virtual wench questioning my fitness. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Uh, sick semper turret. <coughs> that is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I fail to find it amusing. Whoops. And we're out. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice, choice ever. Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off-hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24-7. Jerks. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. Professor Morton Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees, no mercenary uniform, quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha, crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns, not enough data equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns, maybe. Looking for someone. Yes, yes, but who? Someone important, valuable, someone with secrets. Someone like me? Me, looking for me. Why? Who are you? What do you want? Do you ever pause for breath? Sorry, I'll try to slow down. No, 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 can't do it. No time. Have you got a minute to talk? Not now, working on collector data. Have ruled out artificially intelligent virus. Unless it's very intelligent and toying with me. Hmm, tests. Perhaps later, trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Not at moment, think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Some other time. About to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. <laughs> ah, sorry, that was supposed to go to my earpiece. Cerberus. Three-headed dog. How come it's only led by one guy? Yeah, this is 98% of my job. 
I just watch buttons flash. Sometimes I press one. Hanging in space with a jazz trio. Now coming with the bass. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead, too? I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Could be opportunity to get close. Need guns. Wait, no. Have guns. Excellent. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirahi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite with that pole up his ass. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir. It's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. You'll have to wait for the next shuttle. You made me miss the last one. You needed to go through security. Why are you treating me like a criminal? Because you tried to bring a 15 centimeter serrated blade on a public shuttle. You humans are all racist. I want to know when the next shuttle will get here. There's one every 10 minutes. I don't want to wait that long. I can't make the shuttles go any faster, sir. You humans are all racist. Can I help you, sir? I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to station security are classified. We can't risk geth infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of CSEC's undercover agents. Did you talk with them? Did they seem like Geth agents to you? Well, no, but you can never be sure. Look, miss, I've fought hundreds of Geth. I can assure you that those two aren't Geth infiltrators. 
The lack of flashlight heads was kind of a giveaway. I wish they still made role-playing games like they used to. These days, it's all big choices and visceral combat. I miss those old games, where you had to remember to drink water, and it took five hours real time to fly somewhere. I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game! Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. What will it be? I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... It's green. I'm guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? Let's have another one. There you are. Anything else? Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Anything else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up? This is genuine Batarian air, uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. And I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Anything else? Do it! Okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, Rincon. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Hell oh, yeah. Put more of the stuff in the thing where stuff goes in. Your funeral, pal. something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just cleaned the bar. Just looking around. Pleasure as always. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks! Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Ducked rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. 
That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. You've had members of other species make a pass at you? Constantly. Very awkward. Skin tone apparently attractive by Turian standards. Subset of Krogan sexual deviants enjoy Solarian flexibility. More cartilage and skeletal structure. Asari offers. Intriguing, actually. Wonder why. Transspecies pheromones unlikely to work. Must be neurochemical. I appreciate you letting me down easy. No offense intended. Salarian reproduction different. Very little sex drive. If intended to try human, would try you. Glad you stopped by. Cleared the air. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but... You performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty, but kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? I like her. Are we still recruiting? Commander, Jack and Miranda are in the middle of a... disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Why is it always claws and guns? Can't we piss off a fuzzy planet? Still dangerous, but hey, bunnies. I'm telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, shit! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. I'll lock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. Main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, damn it. All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. This is where it starts. We we're just all organic batteries. Guess who they'll blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. I noticed you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. 
I have also gained access to anti-Reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. The Reapers are millions of years more advanced than us. How can you affect them? It appears that my design includes hardware recovered from the wreckage of Sovereign. These systems contain cyber warfare attack programs of considerable sophistication. I have allocated most of my processing power to analyzing them. So if she starts claiming to be the vanguard of our destruction, I call shotgun on the first lifeboat. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. Oh, Joker is going to have a field day with that. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. Just a moment. I'm conversing with Engineer Adams. So I'm looking at the tests for the IFF upgrade. It looks like you've got a few million duplicate encryption keys. That is correct. I keep them in the system in case I need to restart a particular key's evolution. The keys evolve? Reaper interrogation signals do not simply look for a friendly transponder code. They look for a friendly intelligence. The extra keys help me seamlessly swap in simulated intelligence identifiers from divergent synthetic origins. I see. So we need all the copies to seem like a living Reaper. Yes, I tried saying, Humans are dust in the stellar wind. But apparently that is no longer sufficient. Jack's personality appears largely unchanged. Hey, Edie. Nice body. Now you look like a sex bot instead of a sex toy. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. Uh, what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. What, does she have a swear jar or something? I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have amusing memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the Elusive Man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. 
When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. These females are the best and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. He wouldn't be king then, would he? Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun... Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> he is correct. It was a delicacy in our cycle. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. Radioactive? <laughs> Garrus. I have to make friends with the one Turian in the galaxy who thinks he's funny. Imagine how I feel. I'm supposed to hate Krogan, but you came along and warmed my heart with your winning personality. I could throw a few Solarians off a cliff. If it'll make you feel better. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel... I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morton. Eyesight's still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. His speech is strange. A Prothean. Excellent. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few, myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Well, it wasn't his ear. No, that would... Mm. Perhaps stimulate cell regeneration with a... Could... Oh. Uh, but... Should test for... That's worse. Certainly possible. Would require strengthening exercises. Get muscles to support weaker bone structure. Right. Yeah, I can do that. Alloy of Edie's body not flexible like organic tissue could cause unintentional damage. Recommend pillows, cushions, possibly gel packs. Okay, that's a little weirder, but yeah, all right, cushions. Positioning critical to success. Can forward Edie charts, videos with relevant data. No, 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 let's, let's, uh, uh, uh Edie's pretty busy with, you know, stuff. Let's, let's, let's send, uh, just send that to me. Uh, you're not gonna tell anyone about this, right? Like, like, Shepard? Shepard doesn't really need to know. Ah, 
Guarantee Shepard won't learn about it from me. He's standing right there, isn't he? I wish I wasn't. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, store credits, or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. Look, he's not gonna leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Here, I sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes, congratulations. The whole 15 credits. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Looks like you've been in some fights lately. Install me in a combat mech and I can do some pretty crazy damage myself. I find the best advanced battlefield strategy is to have more bullets than the other guy. Technically, it's thermal clips, not bullets. But who says, I filled them with five detachable heat sinks? I sound 7% more like Commander Shepard than any other bootleg VI copy. Wait, forget the mech. Install me in one of those flying drones and stick a cane on it. You want help solving your problems? Get me out of this damn demo mode. Listen, if you don't have the credits, just... Tear me out of the terminal. Or something. Ever wrestle a Baron for money? Well, so long. I don't really sound like that, do I? All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. Ash? Oh. What have we here? Oh, sir. I'm off duty. Your voice? Sir, not so loud. Please, thank you. Why are you curled up on the floor? Am I... Oh, my head. So heavy. Can't move. Ah. Enjoy your evening? I'll be back to work in 30. Maybe 40. I swear. Just give me 45 minutes. Shh. Shh. How did you end up in this sorry state? Just wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. This empty bottle? It's empty. Oh, boy. You know, I think it might be time to test the fire alarm. 
I'll pay you a million credits not to do that, sir. Two million, and we have a deal. <sighs> You're a damn space pirate. I could order Joker to sing to you over the comm. I hate you. I hate you... Sir. As you were, Williams. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. Your turn. Counselor Tabos. Hot. But points off her attitude. Shaira the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Linron. Ew. Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Nine's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me, Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I think he's aware of that. Uh, no, I, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people, new people. They're, it's, <sighs> someone is hacking your account. Com channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Big mistake. Oh man, there's the angry face. From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker? Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir! Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Talk about it later. Stand back. Wait. Could you please open the gate?
What are you doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. Rex, I'm a professional. It's not a yes. It's not a no. Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. Who will go in the shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast fair and leg. I look ridiculous. Think of it like camouflage. You don't want to scare the prey. Then we need to find bigger prey. Okay, this is good. Everyone looks at the Krogan. Nobody looks at me. Commander Shepard. Chaira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? When? I'm all for Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know. I have a place to stay now, but thanks. So you had nothing before that? How brave of you to endure, dear. The humans are so resilient. Like that phrase of theirs, stiff one in the lips. Stiff upper lip. Right, of course. What did I say? You don't need to call for backup. I'm just looking for a game that isn't crap. We, uh, like to be prepared, sir. I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. What the hell? Hmm. You got me dressed up like this and someone else got to do the shooting. Rex not happy. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. How come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you? They bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max, what do they need that kind of firepower for? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the Volas? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? <clears throat> Who's going to pay the bill? What's the best way into the ark? The facility is located below the wards. 
Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher moss. But don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with a sorry. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses! <laughs> Is that a catchphrase or something, Rex? of the target. He looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. Commander, I have cataloged 18 previously unknown historical events. Where's the target, Glyph? He is searching for a secret vault. He did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought he was you. <sighs> Go find him again. Sorry, Glyph's not a combat model. Stupid machine. Tratika is so much better at this. Tell them they burnt the pepperoni. Dagger squad, I need more time to reach the ball. Keep Shepard off my back or I'll have your head. The other Shepard sounds like a real asshole. I'd quit if he was my commander. shoot something once when you can shoot it 46 more times the other me can't be far keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him let's move biometric identifier updated good day commander shepherd now if you'll excuse me the normandy needs its captain so i should go Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. Refresh my memory. Didn't we used to win these things back in the old days? He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. Crazy thought, but maybe we should be worrying about this impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever. How come nobody told me this before? I'm open to feedback here. Well, I thought all humans said it, like some weird Earth custom or something. Probably not a lot of air in here either. An hour, if we're lucky. Maybe it's, I should go. I should go. I should go. Shepard, please, why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me.
This is why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Tried. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Shepard, your clone has entered the ship and is attempting to... She's supposed to do that? I'm okay. Really? And I don't even... Wait, what? You were just on the Normandy. You, you fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. That's Decision Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Yes, I told you that. And I remember, because I'm the real Shepard. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you... Shepard's got a clone. Makes sense when you think about it. I can explain more later. For now... It's sealed. We are out of time. They're going to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay. You know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right... Here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? A very precise mass effect field. I can try, but I doubt I have the fine control necessary. <clears throat> if you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy... I'd have been very skeptical. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. In my cycle, we flinched food from our teeth with our own biotic abilities. Man, your cycle sounds like crap. A little cramped in here. Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. Yeah, yeah. Get off my tail. Nope. 
So I'm the only one who misses when we used to chat in the elevators back on the Citadel. Yep. So disappointed. Until you escape. Me? Escape? But I'm not a field agent. Stop. Just stop. You betrayed me and the Alliance in the middle of a war. I was young and naive. Admit it, Commander. You'll miss me. Uh, you know, I meant for that to be a warning shot. Oh, well. Uh, maintenance to the shuttle bay? I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the Council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha-ha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the Council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> it's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> Why you should comp my drinks? No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. 